<laughs> iPhones, laptops, GPS. For many of us, technology makes our life a lot easier. But for one man, Hector Mann, technology is changing his life. Nathan Pruitt lost most of his right hand in a work accident nearly two years ago. Now, today, he can use that hand once again thanks to some cutting edge technology. His prosthetic hand, the first of its kind here in Arkansas. Life had been good to Nathan Pruitt, a high school athlete well known in his hometown of Hector. He'd accepted a job at a paper plant. Then, in one moment, everything changed. There was a piece of board in front of a uh, photo eye, and as I reached in there to grab the board, the machine kicked on, and my hand got caught in a chain. Within seconds, his hand had been ripped apart. I was uh, very upset. Just didn't know how I was going to live life anymore. But life is changing once again. It's changing everything. I mean, it is. It's just really starting a new life, I guess. The first of its kind in Arkansas, this prosthetic arm attaches to Pruitt's arm and is controlled by muscle contraction. Each finger has its own motor. The trick now, learning how to use that arm to its full potential. He does that with the help of Baptist Health occupational therapist John Johnston. Oh, yeah, he's doing fantastic. And, you know, he's young and smart, and he just good problem solver, and uh, he's doing, he makes us look good. It really does. It just feels natural. It's starting to feel more like a hand. Pruitt's cousin, Chance Skinner, has been by his side throughout this entire ordeal. I think it's just amazing. It's it's actually mind-blowing. You, you look at it and you, you think it's uh, from Star Wars or something. But what is most amazing, Skinner says, is not the technology, but the man who it's helping. It's not most so much the hand that needs to, the store needs to be out, it's the person that's wearing it, because without him inside of it, it, it would just be a piece of metal. Such an amazing story. That's and fantastic. He's an amazing guy. He really is. And, and what Chance was saying is how positive he stayed. Everybody else was thinking the worst, and he refused yeah. to think that. So, And as you can imagine, Nathan's got some, some goals, some long-term uh -huh. goals, and they include golfing, playing the drums, and fishing. I have once no again. idea he will reach each and every one Absolutely of those. Absolutely he will. Without a doubt.